Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss very important topic. So mainly I will show you that how we can easily make the future land use, land cover change prediction using Google Earth Engine and ArcMap software. How we can easily do. So all of those things I will show you step by step. I hope uh, if you follow this all of those steps, you can easily make the future land use land cover prediction map using Google Earth Engine as well as also help of ArcMap software for your presentation. So first of all, I will show you my work about that. So here you can see the land use land cover map 2013. So mainly I classified the agricultural land, barren land, water body, settlement, vegetation and forest. As well as also you can see this the another things about that uh, land use land cover map for 2023. So using these two dependent variable. So and previous I, al I already uploaded the another video for how we can easily create it, the dependent and independent variable for making the land use land cover prediction okay so if you don't watch this video simply uh, you can simply go to my youtube channel and you can get the video how to create the variable for land use land cover prediction okay so basically in this time here i create the two types of independent variable one is that land use land cover map for 2013 and another for is the land use land cover map 2023 okay so I just use these two land use land cover map as a dependent variable. Okay. So as well as I also prediction using this for the land use land cover prediction, change prediction year of 2030 using the machine learning algorithm in Google Earth Engine platform. So here you can see the change area between the year of 2013. 2023 and 2030. So basically, in this time, where we can get this type of things, you can see mainly agricultural land will be lost. Okay, and in this time, it also increasing the settlement. Okay, so we can find out the result dynamic change of agricultural land and increasing the settlement. Okay, as well as we are also get the vegetation will be increasing about that forest area is also lost in this time. We can also find out about that. So our main concern about the dynamic change of agricultural land and uh, increasing the settlement you can see we can also predict it 2013 about that so now how i can create for this all of those things okay so now i just simply open my code editor so here you can say i already write the code and i already imported all of those variable so mainly here i including the variable about that srtm so mainly this is a dem data and i already imported the land use land cover data set here you can see land use land cover map for 2013 and land use land cover map for 2023 okay so here i already imported and if you don't know how to create this type of variable you can simply uh, follow this video and after i hope after watching this video you can easily learn how to create this type of variable so mainly uh not dem map distance to road map as well as also slope map hill shed map and aspect map so mainly in this time for create the future prediction map here i use the srtm nasa srtm as a dem data distance to river map distance to road map slope map hillshade map and aspect map this total six independent variable i use in for future prediction and if you don't know how to create this type of map you can simply watch my previous lesson which i already uploaded i also attach the video link in this video description you can easily watch and then you can easily create and here you can say i already created the land use land cover classification map for year of 2013 as well as i also created the land use land cover classification map for 2023 
so if you don't know how to create the land use land cover classification map you can simply follow my other video in this video uh youtube you can easily get a lot of video how to create the land use land cover classification map you can simply use this map for the land use land cover map 2013 as well also land use land cover map for 2023 okay so in this time i simply imported the tip images land after classification i can simply go to the asset tab and click on the new button and then i simply uh, imported the land use land cover land classification map as a tip format in this code editor so here i already imported all of those independent and dependent variable nasa srtm distance to road map distance to river map slope map hill shed map aspect map as well as also land use land cover map uh, from 2013 to 2023 as well as if you want you can also add here the other types of uh, variable such as if you want you can also add here the population density map okay as well as you can also add here that uh stream density density map so stream to a river stream, stream to distance map so this type of a uh, variable you can easily create and you can easily import it in google earth engine path from as a tip format and for the further analysis we can easily do from here and if you don't know how to create the variable simply watch the video uh, for create the variable then i hope you can easily learn all of those things how to create the dim map how to create the distance to river map distance to road map slope map hill shed map aspect map so these type of things you can easily learn from here after that we just simply take a variable values and here i put the 0 1 2 3 4 5 so mainly 0 is identify about the forest or uh, 1 is identify about the agricultural land 2 is identify about that uh, barren land 3 is the water body 4 is the settlement and 5 is the vegetation and we also take the another variable about the plated and put the uh, color plated for the vegetation so mainly when you want to make the land use land cover classification map we are just get the value uh, look like that so i will show you that from the arcmap software so here i already imported the tip image after downloading from the google earth engine platform here you can see i can get the result look like that uh, i simply click on the unique values here i can get the value look like that you can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 so here 0 is that forest 1 is the agricultural land 2 is the barren land 3 is the water body 4 is the settlement and 5 is the vegetation okay so just just i simply make this type of a level uh, in my google earth engine platform also you can see i put the values 0 1 2 3 4 5 as my class and also put the color plated for that all of this class and also put the all of this class name okay just i take the three variables values plate and name and then i simply add the legend uh, using the using the plate all of those things i want to add my legend you can see it show the color values and name okay and after that i simply make the list about my two decade land use land cover classification map and if you want you can also add here the other uh, land use land cover map suppose you want to make the three land use land cover map and um, and and few um and uh, make the future map for the 2030 or 50 you can also add here the other land use land cover classification map so you can simply add the other land use land cover classification map as a tip format just take a variable and then same approach you can also put in here for year of suppose LULC year of 2003 okay you can simply put that and then you can also add the list in here or if you want any uh, any other land use land cover map you can easily add in here for the any other decade okay so in this time i just uh, take that only two decade land use land cover map 2013 to 2023 so here you can see i can get this map LULC 2013 and 2023 so as a default color it look like that as a gray scale color okay so after that i just simply add here that uh, the um, change detection i show the change detection as well as i also create the some uh, independent variable such as land use land cover map 2013 land use land cover map 2023 then we also add here the um, srtm or dem data we are also add here the slope also distance to river distance to road we also add here the hill shed also add here the aspect okay so if you want you can also add, add the other variable for your future prediction you can also easily add the same process and then make the list all of those uh, variable so hill shed slope aspect road to distance okay you can simply add all of those things and now we are just applying here the uh, 20 80 percent data for train hour model and 20 percent data for test hour model and check the accuracy we can get the 99 percent accuracy about this model for the prediction 
and after that we are just uh, make the map uh, about that here we can get the very good accuracy and then finally we are just to make the land use land cover classification map for 2030 okay so just we are put here the image image 2013 so now it create and we are also calculating the area using the chart here you can see the land use area change between the 2013 2023 and 2030 so here i can get the result and here you find out the significant change of agricultural land okay so you can see is the dynamic change and lot of agriculture will be lost in the future 2030 we can get the lot of agricultural land will be lost uh, in um, in the future okay as well as you also get the about the settlement you can see the settlement is also increasing day by day and also you can get the significantly change of the agricultural land in the 2030 for the future we can get the lot of agricultural land lost okay so there are the lot of region for lost the agricultural land there are the suppose uh, some people also migration from here and also uh, did, they did not the agriculture production and also increase the settlement okay there are the lot of region for the uh, decreasing the agricultural land and finally we are just download the data as a tiff format from here here you can see and then you can simply make the map using the arc map software just we are at the legend title all of those things we can easily add it in here so we are just at you can see from this map we can also observe about that agricultural land is very limited in the year of 2030 okay you can see very low very simple this type of agricultural feature you can find out in the future time and not only for that if you want you can also download the data in excel file or csv file simply download it you can see simply download it and from here you can easily make the chart uh, about the in your excel file and here you can see uh, it show the result for year of 2013 2023 and 2030 okay so all of those things we can easily get from here you can see and mainly i can see we can get the data from here as well as we can also predict it the year of 2030 what is the condition for the different types of classes and from here we can easily make the chart for the visualization we are easily create the bar column chart for that simply select all of those feature and then simply click on the insert and then simply click on the you can see bar column chart so now we can see uh, we can get the, this type of chart and from this chart we can easily observe about that i can see the significant change of the agricultural land in the year of 2030 and also increasing the settlement day by day in the coastal land okay so basically uh, this is the process for creating the land use land cover change prediction in the future using the google earth engine platform if you want to learn the more details about the future prediction in google earth engine so you can simply contact with my whatsapp number you can also contact with my email okay so for the learning process okay so if you want to interest it then you can simply contact i hope you can easily learn all of those things in google earth engine platform okay so today is no more stay safe stay happy thank you for watching that